This is Channels Television's Breaking News. We are back here with some more news. This time I'm going to review some local news and my thoughts and opinions. First, we will start off with the weather. It's currently partly cloudy, 47 degrees. At 3 p.m., it's 47. It'll stay at landfill 5. But the temperature will drop to 45 degrees. At 6 p.m., it will drop down to 42. At 7 p.m., it dropped down to 41. 8 p.m., dropped down to 39. That will stay that way until midnight. The temperature will drop at 38. Louisville men's basketball, are they in trouble? It may appear that way. They lost their exhibition game to a Division II team in Flanor Rye. Had no idea that team existed. Lost 57 to 47. Another exhibition game, they barely edged Chaminade. They're a good team. They won 80 to 73. In the official season began with Bellman, a good team led by Sky Davenport, won championships in 2010, won their conference title earlier this year, but did not make it determined because they're ineligible because they're being reclassified because they're moving up from Division 2 to Division 1. They lost the Bellman in a one-point game, 67-66. Then they lose again to Wright State, 73-72. Is the Kenny Payne era bust, or are they just going through growing pains? They play Appalachian State on Tuesday. Will they win that one? I don't know. Then they play 10th-ranked Arkansas. Then they go to Maui for the Maui Invitational. They play Maryland, Miami, Florida State, Western Kentucky, Florida A&M, Lipscomb, North Carolina State, Kentucky, Syracuse, Wake Forest, Clemson, North Carolina, Pittsburgh, Boston College, Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, Florida State, Pittsburgh, Miami, Virginia, Clemson, Duke, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, Virginia. In the ACC tournament to wrap things up. It's going to be a tough year for Louisville. Or Louisville or Louisville, however you want to pronounce it. Also in the Louisville area, uh, missing cows on Louisville has been spotted on the weekend in the Highlands neighborhood. There is the cow, there is the cow on the run. Courtesy of the surveillance camera footage. You see the cow. Moving across the road here, pretty dangerous. Election news 2022, the Louisville mayor election is over. Democrat Craig Greenberg beats Republican Bill Dare. Here's Greenberg, standing for the code of the governor, Andy Bashir. A Democrat will continue to lead Louisville after Greenberg defeated Republican Bill Dare. Greenberg, lawyer by training, who's the former CEO of 21 C Museum Hotels and a co owner of Ohio Valley Wrestling, had received about 52% of the vote compared to Dare's 46%. Seven other third-party candidates received anywhere from a few hundred to a little over 1,600 votes. They're conceded to Greenberg. And Greenberg held his press conference at the Gulf House. He's going to put Louisville in a new direction. Time for politics is over. Greenberg is now going to focus on unity and take action to improve Louisville.
thank his family, his wife, and two sons. Greenberg, he also survived an assassination attempt earlier this year, back in February. It's odd that the guy who allegedly shot him, his name was on the ballot. He even got some votes. That's interesting. Greenberg, he listed public safety and reducing crime as his priority. Jackie calls to fund the police, wants to fully fund it. The issue of violence in Louisville became a personal for Greenberg. And his team, February, when police said former Courier Journal intern, University of Louisville student, Quintess Brown, shot with Miston while inside the campaign's office. State and federal charges are pending. Do I think there's going to be change in Louisville? No. They've been going to the same Democratic Party for like 50 years. Nothing has changed. I like Greenberg, but I don't think he's going to change the city at all. More things change, more things stay the same. A boy found dead in a suitcase early this year has been identified by the police. Six months after a child was found in a suitcase, the Washington County, Indiana State Police identified the young victim. It's five-year-old Cairo Amar Jordan from Atlanta, Georgia. He would have turned six. Police are looking for two suspects, Don Elaine Coleman and the Johnny Lottie Anderson. Arrest warrants have been issued for both. Coleman was apprehended, but Anderson is still on the loose. And Anderson is Cairo's biological mother. Child died as an electrolyte imbalance. No physical trauma, and the toxicology report was negative. Body was found in a Las Vegas themed suitcase. Burrs have issued a murder warrant for the boy's mother, Dijon Anderson. Now my thoughts on this, it's a very complicated case. So the boy's from Georgia. One of the suspects is in California. So how did they get to Washington County, Indiana? That right there, to me, it's really hard to put together. Of all places, dump a body. Washington County, Indiana, how do they find that place? Last thing I heard from this person that she robbed something at the St. Matthews Mall. Let's go from Georgia. To Louisville, to California, Washington County, Indiana. It's a lot of questions are being raised. But I don't know who this person is, but she didn't want the boy. I don't know why you had to starve the boy to death. They just gave the boy for adoption. That's what I would have done. But maybe she has some mental issues. Maybe it's a uh, child custody issue. Maybe she wants to break away from her husband the rest of her life this other accomplice and there was a disagreement and the boy was actually receiving it. Terrible. 
this case looks like it's come to a close as long as they find this person. Maybe she's dead. Maybe she commits suicide. I don't know. This has been CC Nation News. We've got another news video tomorrow. We will read mostly the national headlines tomorrow.